the first thing we're going to do is the letters and make those indents then we're going to work out exactly where the holes and bolts and nuts parts will go to hold this thing together then we're going to shell it so that means we're going to make it hollow split that open we're going to add something called a web uh, to the inside to make it stronger because now it's hollow and then we're actually going to create the the molds and uh, learn about draft angles and things like that so it's uh, so make sure you saved up so the first thing to do then is to uh, create those words I actually don't want to create it in the middle I want to create it on the outside so I go to construct offset the plane select this plane and we're going to move that all the way so that so that we're not drawing in the middle of the model we're actually now drawing on the surface okay done come back create a sketch on that new construction line and we're going to go to text or I'll call it grab bag so let's put the first corner there bring that out uh, so that's done that's in place I can move it around if I need to just gonna put it there and finish that sketch now I can't see it because my sketches are turned off let's turn that back on uh, I'm gonna create a line underneath in the same sketch and then I'm gonna add that line so they overlap it will look like um, grab bag has been is just underlined but in reality I'm using the line to bond everything so that that could be one product as opposed to seven individual products so for that but that should be okay all right we can finish that sketch now Okay, and of course, if you're worried, you could have trimmed all these little things there. Okay, the next part is to create this in rubber. So, extrude. One, two. Now, you can see here that it's not highlighting, and that means there's something in front of it. In order to select something behind a surface that you can't, i.e. something you can't reach, so just hold your finger down and then you should be able to select it and we'll go okay now don't worry that's gone but they're the two lines of rubber and now the next part is that sketch there so we're just going to turn that back on extrude and this time we're going to select the word so for this one we are going to have a um, we're going to go two-sided we can actually do symmetric let me just bring that out now the reason it's gone red remember is it's assuming that I want to cut now did I say one mil yes I did so just make sure you go there and join to move stuff click the actual thing you want to move in the browser okay when you're happy with that and then just hide the sketches the next port is the screws now I, I, I believe I'm gonna have one here and one here just either side okay so we're going to create a sketch again this time we're not going to use the construction sketch we're going to go to the origin sketch so right in the center looking right at it and circles the first thing to do is the center of the circle itself three mil and that will give you a smaller um, hole here when it comes to it okay now just another circle so I'm just gonna go to the center of that and glide across and that gives me quite a nice um, guideline and just click that and three milligan all right finish that and we are going to have to turn our sketches back on so we can see them select that one remember hold that button to get that profile we're going uh, symmetric again now there are other ways of doing this this is the quickest and cheapest way I'm gonna go and we're gonna cut right the way through so in order to create the own screws I'm creating a sketch we'll do it here we're gonna go circle so that's a three mil okay finish that 
take that one and we're just going to extrude that out now the screw head will try and recess it in there okay you can't see anything so let's go to visual style and see how difficult that is wireframe okay i can actually see that but i know it's quite tough so if we just go hidden edges that might make it easier so that that little dotted line is the head of the screw there and i want it to go about here so this is going to be a new body and it's going to be two sides and we're going to go into about there so that's the the actual screw length okay the next part is let's hide that main body so this is the screw here let's do the head so we'll go sketch there circle press letter c let's go to five mil i also want to draw a polygon in the middle of it as well tell you why i want this to be a hex so 1.5 get 1.5 okay um finish that sketch now what we're going to do is extrude this down by two mil and we're going to join that and we're going to extrude this up sorry do that one that one that one that one that one that's two mil join that okay good turn that sketch back on now we're going to extrude this one out okay that's one whole piece now this is going to be threaded go to that's the easiest way i don't want the whole thing threaded but i am aware that i'm taking a lot of time so we'll just go here quick circle and what i'm going to do is be a bit cheeky and just move that up like that so we're going to go thread we're going to click the face we're going to make it modeled this kills computers by the way if you're making it too complicated that's a three mil it seems to work and go So it's evident that my model is not working and I really hope that yours is. Uh, I'm going to undo a lot of stuff. Uh, you shouldn't need to, but just in case you ever get something wrong, it's not a massive deal, but it does seem like it. But the first thing I do is I'm going to get rid of anything that I think is going to cause problems. So I know uh, fillets cause problems, so if I just... Um, I'm actually going to delete those and delete that and the uh, the sketch that I drew uh, to make those um, holes but what I'll do instead is uh, suppress them but I can unsuppress it and make it happen go here and actually delete that part first thing I need to do is see if I can shell this as it is so we're going to go here, uh, sorry, we won't do anything, we'll just go shell, and that one, and I'm actually going to go three, so you can actually see a double line, and that is the inside of the line. Okay. I do need that groove in there. Now, I made it three mil thick so that I can just redo that. So I've got this part here, and I'm just going to cut in, in a, uh, away at it. It will make the wall a little bit thicker, uh, thinner, sorry, but it won't affect the shell so that's uh okay so that's exactly the same as i did before and just hide that and so i still have that go back to that suppressed one here and unsuppress it okay now because it's three mil thick i can now fillet it again and it's a lot easier to fill it afterwards uh, after you've done it if you're having shell issues okay we'll just do that three mil so that's good and we'll just do this one here and let's see if we can do three there oh, and we're allowed to so the bolt so they're going to go uh they're going to actually go into the body itself and of course you don't want these jutting out because that's going to hurt your hand so this cylinder is going to have to be cut away from that so that this can be flush now that is 2.5 mil. And because I've made this wall uh, 3 mil, it means that we've got about half a mil of uh, tolerance. Okay, and that, that is quite important. 
Now these are going to go through and they're going to be threaded into this area here. Okay, so at some point I'll show you how to thread the inside of that tube, but we're not going to do it yet because we've got to split this in half first. So I'm just going to hide those again. And this time we're going to cut away. So new sketch. Now, if I make my sketch here, okay, and then press C for circle or just select circle, and that will actually click directly to it. So that's a five mil hole. Why don't we make it 5.2 and we're just going to hide that, okay? And we're going to do the same on the other side. Now it's important to hide those bolts because what I'm about to do is cut away and if the bolt gets in the way it's going to get cut. So we just finished that sketch. We're going to extrude this and that. Make sure you get the center of that. I'm just going to push it in and we don't want to go all the way through. So you can see that is like the end point. Minus 50 and I said 3 so let's go to minus 18 and that should be okay okay uh, now the wording we've got to get back to that wording part so here we had the text and I wanted it recessed what we're going to do is we're going to remove this from that so combine the target is that body the tool is that and of course we want to keep that so let's just hide that text. This is a problem. If I do that, bring it out and cut. Uh, let's go and split that body. So the body to split is that. The splitting tool is that same mid plane as always. And we have now cut. And of course, I can delete that. And you can see the inside. Okay, and that's the important thing there just show you something so I'm gonna move this one out of the way now of course these bolts will hold everything in place but what people are going to want to see is a lip and that means that the lip as to how it snaps together and is more secure than just the the bolt we're gonna create a sketch and this time we're actually gonna select the plane itself okay so that was the edge we're gonna go offset which takes a shape and can bring it out. It's going to be half the distance there, but it's going to have a gap here, uh, a bigger gap here, because we need a fifth of a mil tolerance. L for line, and we're just going to draw some uh, lines here and a line there. So that one, two mil, okay, it's not, they're not beautiful, but they do work. So now what I have to do is I've got to delete this section from the other model. So in this case, let's hide that, we're going to create a sketch on this one this time, we're going to go back to the uh, offset and we can see the original line so that was one now if I go to 1.2 that's my fifth of a mil slightly bigger and then uh, just finish that sketch and just see if we can push that in two millimeters minus two enter so now we've got the we've got that lip that this one can go to okay on this side now we've got to make it look uh, like it could be injection molded or die cast so, and in order for us to do that we need to do something called a draft angle and basically what that is is uh, if there are any things like this then the, it won't come out of the mold so we've got to inspect and we're going to go to draft analysis we're going to have a look at the uh, this body here and the direction we're just going to go here so we know that it's coming out 
as you can see this would come out of the mold quite easily but this wouldn't and nor would this okay that's not a massive problem because it's so small it's only like two mil so with force that would pop off but these would definitely cause a problem so what we've got to do is got to add a draft to this now we're going to go to modify and actually do the draft So the pull direction is where it's pulling from and the face is what we need to draft. Now, ideally you're looking for five degrees. Okay, so if I go to my inspect now and have a look at draft analysis of that in that direction, now that's green. So it means that it, it would work. Let's just cancel that and we're going to do it to everything else. So here we go. All right, let's have a quick um, check on the draft analysis. We're going to say OK. So everything looks pretty good there. Bit of a problem here, but that's a different. This would be a different mold. We're looking at the inside mold. OK, and we're just OK that. So to turn that off, you just turn off analysis.